the life of a mega nerd baby We doing things and we making it happen right From the trash 80 to a black Mercedes No one can stop us now cause we're keeping it nerdy nice What's up YouTube, this is Chris with Sage Films and uh, first of all I want to apologize for not making a tutorial in a while I've been real busy with uh, ranking up a Modern Warfare 2 uh, school work but now I'm on vacation been on vacation for a little bit and I just decided to make this tutorial, I've been getting a lot of messages about this so I'm going to go ahead and make this tutorial now this tutorial is uh, pointing out to uh, Blue Dre 1222 and uh, he asks can you make a video showing what your settings are with the Diamond VC500 and what your re render settings are on Vegas Pro? So, basically today that we're going to do is exactly that. So, just go ahead and open up this program and it switches into Windows 7 Basic because it makes the program run faster. And uh, to get your settings, you'll just bring up the yellow gear here. And uh, here's pretty much my settings. These are pretty close to default, but... I'll show you the best boosting settings in Vegas. So basically, you go under video format and NSTC M underscore J, and then have this import sourced whatever you have. If you have an S video cable, S video, or if you have composite, which is the uh, which is the red, white, and yellow, you just click composite. And the picture adjustment right here, brightness will be at 119, contrast will be at 96, hue will be at 54, saturation will be at 131 and your sharpness will be at 72. Go here to your capture button and make it sure it captures video, snapshot, JPEG, and record. Make sure you record in DVD quality. So okay, that's basically my settings in the actual interface of the OneTouch Video Capture program. Now we're going to go ahead and open up Vegas. I'm going to use Vegas Pro 8 because I have my add-ons and uh, plugins onto that. They don't work for Vegas Pro 9. So I'm just going to open up Vegas Pro 8 and I'll basically show you guys what I do to uh, pretty much boost my quality and what my render settings are okay so this right here is just a project I've been working on uh, so I just go ahead and just get a new one whenever you create a new one first of all I go to my templates and NS NTSE DV 720x480 29.970 frames per second and all I change for that is field resolution rendering quality to best and click OK and that's basically what I start out with is just those settings right there now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and import your file whatever it is maybe Call of Duty Clip now basically for this I'm going to use Call of Duty Clip solely because it's really like what I play and I have a lot of clips of it using my Diamond VC500 so I'll just go ahead and make a video with this and these are the best settings for one touch video capture it's really good settings Go to my videos here, go Modern Warfare 2, and just I don't really care what I've done in one of these clips, I'll just import this. And there we go. So here we go. Don't know exactly uh oh, well this is just a clip of me trying to do something cool, I guess. Oh there's a kill. But anyway, what I'll do is I'll just cut this down to size. That way I can show you guys the finished product after I get done with this video. And I'll just make it a really, really quick render. End it there. Just delete this. Okay. So first of all, what I do is uh, to boost the quality a little bit better. First, what you can do, you can go under uh, your event pan and crop, and basically just like bring in these edges so you don't see the black around the edges up here. So that looks pretty good. And just exit out of this. There you go. You got that. And you can also add a cinematic view to this, which is you'll uncheck this top box and drag these in. And it adds a little cinematic view, but I'm not going to do that, so close this out, cancel those. And just go to your video effects, go to brightness and contrast, and I have a Call of Duty preset automatically selected, so I'll just drag it here. And I'll read these settings off to you guys. Uh, the brightness for this is 0 0.15, the contrast is 0 0.22. The contrast center is 0 0.82. And uh, to create these settings, we'll just bring in reset to none. And if you do that, which let me go ahead and cancel these settings right here. If you do that and you create, uh, you get all these settings, basically what you do, you'll just drag it in. And you can go up here, change the name of this, and click this, and save that as a template or a preset. That way you can use it in future use. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to color curves. 
and all I already have a preset here. Bring this in right here. As you can see, it's a little bright. So what you can do is, you, as soon as you do this, you can just move this around. But uh, it's pretty good settings, and I just bring this up right here, and I'll let you guys copy this. Just copy it the best you can. I move this about the middle here, and same down here. I move this about in the middle with just a little curve. Just go ahead and close this out, and I'm gonna view this real quick. And see that that looks pretty good on this map, derail. I'm uh, not derail, excuse me. On high rise, it's gonna be a little brighter because of the sun in this area. But uh, also, what you can do, you can come down here, and uh, here's all these effects that I've got. I think it's saturation adjust. Yeah, and I've got this preset here, and I'll go ahead and read these off to you. I'll just bring it in here, and it kind of saturates the screen. It's pretty cool for montages, but there's a little more in this area. But what you'll do, amount. 1.0000 center at 0 0.0000 spread at 1.0000 and low and high both at 0 0.0120 and just going to close this out and I'm going to watch this yeah and this this has a pretty good effect for this map it kind of brings the saturation down and looks pretty good so what I'm going to do for you guys is that's pretty much what you do before you render I'm going to show you guys my render settings so just go file render as and I have my template called as high, uh, called HQ Best. This is for high quality videos, not HD. And just I'll go ahead and go to custom and show you guys what my settings are. All right, the quality I put for video rendering quality is best. I go to my audio, have mode CBR, format Windows Media Audio 9.2, attributes at 64 kbps, 44 gigahertz stereo AV CBR. I really don't know what all that means, it's just I've fooled around with it, those, those are the best settings. Alright, now we go to video, this is really what we want to be changing around. The quality VBR as your mode, format Windows v, min, Windows Media Video 9, image size custom, which the best I found is 900 by 480 with aspect ratio of 1.00 square, frame rate at 30 frames per second, seconds per keyframe 3, quality all the way up to 100. Bitrate and index summary all comp index summary is customized stuff you can have. Bitrate is according to your internet speed. So just click OK and just I'll say this as video example. And there we go. And I'll just save this right click and I'll let this render it shouldn't take too long rendering. Yeah, it's going pretty fast. Which also you gotta think in mind if you don't have a high bandwidth that this is gonna take a while to upload because I have basically a three minute video that's like 300 megabytes so it's got it's a bigger file size when you have all this all these settings on but it makes for a good quality video and I choose time over quality any day I'll take the time to basically upload this to YouTube if it takes me three hours I really don't care if it's a good quality video it's pretty much worth it so anyway this is a 53% it's moving pretty fast so yeah, after you get this rendered, pretty much all you do is just upload it to YouTube. And it's pretty much good to go from there. So uh, after this gets done rendering, I will uh, post this at the end of this video as a separate uh, video. That way it doesn't look laggy on your screen. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I uh, hope this helped you, Blue Dre 1222 Please rate, count, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. And once again, I'm very sorry for not making a tutorial in a while. I've had some requests on some Visual Basic tutorials and uh, I'll get back to those soon. I've just been really busy with stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Please rate, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.